we got a fencing problem here. Okay, So we have a farmer who has three horses, and he wants to build a fenced-in area for them. And we're going to separate it into three sections because these horses don't get along. So we don't want to put them in the same area. He's got 8,000 feet of fencing to use and a river on one side of the property. So if we draw a little sketch, there's our river. Okay, and we're going to draw a rectangular area. And we're going to split it into three sections. Okay. And these four pieces of fencing here are all going to be the same. So we're going to call all of them L for length. Well, what do we have left over here? How long is this piece going to be? Well, we know we've got 8,000 feet of fencing total, so let's start out with all 8,000 feet of fence that we can put there, except we used a lot of fence here. We have four sections that were, we called L. So we're going to take that 4L away. So now we have our area formula. Area is length times width. So L times 8,000 minus 4L. And if we multiply that out, L times negative 4L, so that's negative 4L squared plus L times 8,000, 8,000 L. And so let's rewrite that down below. Now we've got a polynomial and we're asked to maximize or optimize it, which means if it's set up like this with a negative in front of the L squared, it's going to have this shape. And to maximize it would be the point at the top, which is a critical point. So we need to find out where this critical point is. Okay, so remember to find critical points. We need to take the derivative of this. So the derivative of the area is, we bring the exponent down, multiply it by the coefficient, so negative 8L plus, exponent goes back 1, 8,000L, so the derivative of a linear term, we just drop the variable and we're left with 8,000. So there's the equation for the derivative, and we know that at a critical point, the derivative is 0. So we're going to replace that with 0. So we have 0 equals negative 8L plus 8,000. And solve this. We move the 8L to the left. So we have positive 8L equals 8,000. And divide by 8. And so what we see is that the length that we have to use to maximize the area needs to be 1,000 feet. So our length is going to be 1,000. And our width is 8,000 minus 4 times the length. So 4 times 1,000 is 4,000. So 8,000 minus 4,000 tells us that the width would have to be 4,000.